everybody and welcome back and in this session today I have turned up at the swale the swale near um, Tong or Sittingbourne Sittingbourne is just like there it is the Sittingbourne Industrial Estate just behind me there I'm here at the low tide mark that I fish don't really know what it's called but um, I drive through the village of Tong and uh, and you end up at this dead end here. So as I'm dropping all my bits and bobs, I've come here today because this time last year, or a bit later than this last year, but I'm going to try it now, uh, the rays turned up and there was quite a few rays showing in the swale all the way along. Keep thinking I've got things. Um, and they were in good numbers. And last winter, I had some good rays, some nice size whiting. I know there's bass still in here. So it's well worth a couple of hour session to see whether I can get anything. Because my last few sessions have been very poor. Um, my last few sessions have had a lot of crab activity. Now there is crab activity here. I've had it here as well. But hopefully, at least be some fish. Dogfish as well. I've had dogfish here, so. Um, I just want to get a bend in the rod. And this is basically probably my last fishing trip before something big next week that I'm planning. So keep your eyes peeled on the channel. Now, quickly before I start this, Please still check out my raffle that I've got running. Raffle for a custom built rod. Um, the link is in the description of this video. And I've just put the link up the top there to, to the video of the fishing rod too. Um, for one of a kind, hand built fishing rod, built by myself, with a reel, and a couple of lures. Some of the proceeds go to Make-A-Wish Foundation. They help and support charity. And by run, me running it through Raffle, the online Raffle place, um, it's basically protecting me and it's protecting you. So it protects you because it's a legal raffle. You will get the item regardless. And you know that your money is going to the charities and to the places it states. It's also protecting me making sure I don't do anything illegal and that I'm running a fair raffle. Anyway, look at this in front of me. There we are, I've got a couple of, uh, couple of swans just uh, waddling along. They're mute swans. Yep. Sorry. If you let me go round you can stay there. Don't think he's happy about being made to go through the mud. Anyway, here we are. The wind is coming from the southwest, which makes this mark here ideal. Fair flies are an oyster catcher. Just disturbed him too. Oh, and a cormorant. Well, it's always calm here when the wind's from the southwest. Let's get set up and run through what I'm gonna do. Oh dear. Fuming. We got mullet. I didn't bring anything to get, get the mullet with. But we have got some mullet all the way along the edge there cruising around it's quite a lowish tide today here
right, let's get some rigs out now. There are some big fish. There's some big fish swirling in front of me. There really are. So, what I'm going to do first, is I'm going to put on a long range rig, see if there's any bass. I'm going to get that on the smaller rod with some worms on it. There's one there. So, I'll clip that. Let's get that on. I've made a very big schoolboy mistake and I have forgotten to charge all my GoPro batteries so I am short of batteries so let's hope I get any action in before they will die on me right I'm gonna put two worms on on a single hook this is what I've got there's some big fish moving now in the shallows to my well in front of me there I think they're mullet they're cruising around slowly like mullet but in front of me i've seen two big swirls big movements which i think may be bass coming up round so i'm going to drop this in very short let's have a look and then stay in stealth mode i think two worms on there that's it two worms on a single rig and split that's good i'm happy with that i'm gonna put a tiny bit of squid on that they've been there for a bit there we go that's my bait i'll run you through this in a minute i want to get it in the water just in case i mean this could be mullet so it could be a waste of time it could be bass. Oh, swing this out. Oh, it's going to be so shallow. I'm going to do sideways, actually. Let's get this out there. Come on. There. Happy with that? Happy with that? There's bass there. This will fly around. Oh, I missed it. Big bite, big bite. Oh my god, big bite. Ah, come on. Am I going to get time to set up the other rod? Come on. Bass. Oh, come on. I didn't expect it that quick. I've got it. Oh, have I? Am I snagged? What's going on here? Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, I've missed him. Oh, he stripped me. There's bass here. There's bass very close. Right, come on. Flat leads going on. Here we go. This is what we're doing. The other rod will have to wait. Flat lead. That's got less chance of getting gripped. It's got less chance of getting caught in the oyster shells. And it's also a lot easier to plane up to the surface. And these bass aren't gonna hang around forever. One worm on. Two. Come on, then. on you go, there's our two worms on there. Tip with squid head. Just like that. Lovely. Underarm chuck. Let's get it out again. Let's keep it. Oh, there's big bass bassin it. Big bass in it. Well, I want to say big. There we go. That's fine now. I'm happy with that. There. Right, I'm going to risk setting the other one up. I know what will happen. Anyway, right, let's get a rig. <coughs> Keep an eye on that rod. Right, so I've just clipped a pulley dropper on the 
other rod, my bigger of the two. Tuck that under there. Keep an eye on my other rod. I think I might be a bit short. Still moving out there. I might drop it a bit longer in a minute. Right, these are so frozen. Let me get that out. Let me get a, oh, that's all right. Get a tail section off there, like that. Take the tail off it, like that. And we're going to split that up in half, like so. Come on, bass. Can't be bothered to get my knife out, so scissors will do. And what I'm going to do with that is wrap that. That there. A bit of squid, like so. I'm going to wrap that up now, and then get it on the hook. Try and keep this nice and streamlined, nice and straight, and nice and neat. So I half wrap it now. Very simple. It's not big enough, so it's going to come out through there and out the end. Pull it up. I'm sitting proud, nicely. There we go, like that. Flip it round so I can bait elastic that on. That hook nicely. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is right just behind the the eye of the first hook, and go in and out the other side. If bait's thinner. I can do that. And I'm just going to. Bait elastic that onto the hook there like that. Like so. Happy with that? Over our knot in the elastic, just hold it in place, and there we go. Right, I'm going to run through these rigs in a minute. But I'm going to get this out first and then replace the other one. Big rod. Is it a ray or is it a dogfish? Let's find out. Was he? Oh, there is. Is there? Oh, there might be something on here. <laughs> I think he'd. Yeah, there's something on this. Let's see what we have got. See if we can get some underwater. This, get him up. Hi. Come on, don't get caught. What have you got? Oh, has he come off there? It's come off. Just come off. Ah. 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 <laughs> Maybe he didn't come off. That couldn't have done it. There was a fish on there. There's also, <laughs> look at that, a bristle star on there. That wouldn't have been the thing pulling. But uh, I've managed to hook that. And you can see the tiny little new leg growing at the bottom there where one has snapped off. They're very... Uh, Very delicate, these things. So there it is, let's get him back. I missed that bite. Ooh.
Missed it again. What is going on down there? Well, whatever it is, I missed it. Uh, what's the bait look like? Right, new bait. Fresh bait on there. Fresh bit of mackerel and squid. Looks like the initial um, bass activity is gone. Unfortunately, you missed one, but <sighs> there is something on the bottom, bottom out there in the channel, mooching around. Maybe there's some rays. Let's hope I can uh, get into some of them, or one of them. Two, three, four, five, whatever. bite on this where's it going is he on there oh i missed it i missed him yeah i've bloody missed him ah there was a big bite on this then come on still there Come on. I think it's dogfish. Whatever is biting is not big. I've missed it again. Nibbling away. And he's uh straighten out a bit, let's get that back out. I will get one of these. Clipping that up. I should get back out in there. Nothing is interested in the worm at all. Not any interest in the worm. Come on. So, before I forget, I keep getting weird bites on the big rod. I will run through what I'm doing. It's very strange. Right, on the bigger rod, the Sonic, I have got out there at the moment, sitting in the channel, a fully dropper rig. Now that's out there hoping for a ray. It should pick up a dogfish if it's greedy enough, which I'm thinking maybe what's going for my bait, or very small rays. Um, so the pulley dropper rig, it's targeting bigger fish. And then on the Vega, I did have a long range rig. And the links are going up in the top as I as I mentioned these rigs. And the links will take you through to a video that shows you how to build these rigs. But what I've done now, it's gone very dead after the first 30 seconds minute of action on this. I am putting a two hook clip rig on sitting there in front of me there's a bead there's the other bead and it's just basically a two hook flapper size two o's i'm gonna have two worms on that i'm gonna stick that just out in the channel in front of me there just see what's out there see if there is dogfish or anything I'm trying to get a fish here we go again more bites no bloody fish come on come on One. One. Oh, I've got it. Oh, I've got it. It's time. Finally, I've hooked it. I think it's a little, little ray. 
that snagged me up, that little blighter. Alright, here he comes. Yeah, I'm up there, see if I can get him up. Here he comes, wherever it is. Where is it? Oh, it is a dogfish. Mr. Dogfish. Oh, <laughs> he's just, there he is. Down there, he's just come off. Looking for that bait. There he is in the shallows, look. <laughs> Does that count as a dogfish by hand? Hmm, I don't know. Well, do you know what? I have just grabbed him out. Let me put this down here. Carefully. If I'd have hooked him and got him in fairly, I would have probably kept him for lunch. But, as he did get off the hook, I think we'll let him go, shall we? Back in the car, unfortunately, nothing more than one dogfish. I was getting bites, but I think it was dogfish. They weren't interested in worms. Um, they wanted the mackerel. Didn't really want to go for them. I was happy I hooked one to see what it was. But that was about it. Uh, been a bit hectic this week or so, probably the last two weeks, moving the house, so videos are in short supply. Um, but I'm away next week. May not be a video. But there should be something very exciting coming for the Christmas period. So please stay tuned. And until next time, tight lines.